We had MGF on, pardon my, uh, what's the name of this podcast? I don't know. Pardon my take? Yes. I think it's I pardon my be. take. I think it's pardon my take, yeah. Anyway, the point of this is, I've seen a lot of, uh, I've seen a lot of podcast interviews, I've done many, but man, as far as like a promo cut on a podcast for an upcoming match, this was way up there. Man, this guy cut a great promo. And it's not just on the match, but he he basically tried to put over that this is not a match, that, that this is history. You know, that this is the, you know, there's only a couple of generational talents, that people who change the industry, that make the industry bigger, you know, like uh, Bruno San Martino, Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold and The Rock and John Cena. Those were the names he mentioned. And he basically said that he was going to be the next person on that list. And it will be the big historical night when he wins the championship and it goes on a long ch title run, you know, title have a long title reign and makes himself that guy who elevates the business. So, you know, it's going to be like uh, when Bruno beat Buddy Rogers or when flair beat dusty or when hogan beat the iron Sheik, or whatever this is like that night he's gonna do that and uh you know um he said the only guy standing in his way is john moxley a low rent piece of shit um basically ran down his uh he says he doesn't have an athletic bone in his body he totally he does... buried his athletic ability and such but then said you know i do respect you for the fact that essentially well, you, you, you overcame hard. all of these things to end up being the best wrestler in the world but that's going to change on at the pay-per-view and he says william regal is going to find out he bet on the wrong horse the devil would get his due at full gear yes he said that this is the time when he finally steals the show, he said that he was the first time um, when he beat Cody, everybody was talking about Cody's neck tattoo and not that he beat Cody. And then um, the next time, um, I'm trying to remember which one, one it was. Well, he talked about how he had another big win and it was uh, Matt Hardy it was fell down like Humpty Dumpty said. Then right. there was another win, and then something with Jericho that he was very he upset won, about. He won, he won blood and guts, um, but everybody talked with the end about Jericho taking the bump off the cage. That's right. And then, and, obviously, the last one with the press conference, which right, where, 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 where his he, return. Right. He made his big return, and everybody talked about the press conference. But he didn't mention that he, in fact, um, did steal the show, the spotlight from um, the... Was it uh, the Wardlow getting his big win from Wardlow? Well, yeah, Wardlow got his big win, and the, everything was about him, you know, basically not showing up for the for the uh, you know meet and greet, and is he going to be there and all that. So um, it did kind of work both ways, but uh, it was a fantastic promo. I mean, absolutely, uh, uh, you know, one of the again the guys going to win the guys going to win promo of the year this year. I mean, I don't see any way around it. I don't think there's anyone, you know, as good as Moxley is. And, and um, Kingston hasn't gotten enough opportunities to win. You know, I mean, Kingston's fantastic. As good as Moxley is, I think that, that Max is the promo of the year. Maybe they should get, like, a different producer to give the show a different kind of feel. Actually, actually yes. Maybe okay. they should put the cameras upside down. How about that? You know what they need is black and white. Put Art him black need. and white, Jared. Make <laughs> so him look as gold and gray as pot. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Jared, can you put Vinny upside down? There we go. <laughs> this is what's going to make this show better. We're going to review Rampage with Vinny on a different camera angle. Put it in an angle, though, Jared. Like, uh, yeah, add black and white. Now yeah. we're talking. Vinny, can you spike your hair up next week? <laughs> yeah, just put your hair up in a spike. <laughs> well, we'll have you doing the show upside down, hanging from the ceiling like a bat. The Vin right. Man. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.